It looks like this December people really enjoyed the dirty December. People and with money. No. <laughs> people with money. People with money. If you don't have, you money. Don't have <laughs> a lot of money, they're the ash friends. The ash friends. I think um, earlier when we had you during the week on yeah. the morning show, you stated that um, moving around was very expensive. Oh, yes. And Alex is also mentioning that it means that it was a serious issue. Yes, though, look at the number of people that attended all these events. Look at the videos we watched. Look, oh, at, look at the crowd in the video. The ash uh, Press. <laughs> <laughs> and look Oh yeah, so car um car pulling and all that and also making sure the Okada business those who take their trotter to they have to go early because mm -hmm. <laughs> that one day. by the time you get there the place is already choked with those who are trying to park their car inside. Hey even the Zamadisco. Mm. Eh? The Zamadisco. The the outside there. Are you are talking about security? Yes. Those who don't have tickets. Yes, let's let's those who don't have tickets. In. They were there. Mm -hmm. They don't have money to buy tickets. But they, they were there. They were there, waiting for a miracle to happen, <laughs> so as they will enter. And thankfully for once, a miracle <laughs> happened. <laughs> and they all were, of course. So, so for Zamadisco, I think because it was uh, in the early part of the the festive season, in terms of entering mm -hmm. December properly, there wasn't there was inadequate police presence. And even when I was working, I, I realized the police people were, were talking amongst themselves and they, they highlighted the fact that they were not enough. But then we should see there was like one person said, Oh, but Monfrey police from the Beko Stone Boy show. But well, the Stone Boy show was the, yeah, I think the, the following the day. So police presence wasn't that much. I think they kind of underestimated the crowd that was going to come. But there was a lot of crowd. And so the uh, the blessing that ha happened for them, but was a bit unfortunate, was the near stampede that that happened. Uh, led to Black Wolf pausing the show for like 20 to 30 minutes to make sure that everything was sorted out, which was one of the acts people really appreciated him for. Stopping the whole show just to make sure the fans were, okay. were, were, were feeling good and feeling safe. But that was like one of the, the downside. But luckily for us, no one... It was hurt. was seriously hurt or injured which which was which was a good thing but this same police were all over the place during december no, they it's, were at it's, every stop point it's, it's it's not just about being everywhere they have been assigned so they don't just go to anywhere just like that yeah. you you have a commander leading you telling you where you need to be so it's not because an event is happening so you go and stand there because they will ask you, what are you doing there? You've not been assigned there. Mm -hmm. So the, their presence really helped with security because a lot of people were in town. People were literally partying as far as 8 a.m., 7 oh, a.m. Yeah. yeah, the Polo so, Beach. <laughs> not the Polo Beach alone. <laughs> so even the small, small pubs, hey, those were even worse. But one thing about the Zama Disco was it wasn't about they not providing enough security. What happened at Zama was something that I really liked, but quite unfortunate. Black Sheriff is the headliner of the show. As at 10, he was ready to perform. So those who were thinking Ghana man time, so they would just relax and come late, you know. They missed it. They didn't miss it. They were trying to access their tickets, and surprisingly, they could hear the song playing, and it wasn't that situation whereby... The DJ is playing the song, but it's not the artist performing. No, they are yeah. playing the song and the artist is performing. Uh huh. So when they realize that, ah, the reason for which we are here has literally started performing, and the ticketing section was delaying. They literally rushed. I have it. I have. I've bought it. Look at my barcode. So they literally rushed that we're going in straight without checking the ticket. That is where the whole confusion yeah, started. So. Black Sheriff understood, or he got info that there was a problem happening there. Post the show, started calling out his people, mentioning different. I I know the people he was mentioning their name. Please go and check. He literally went off stage. They just turned off the lights, made sure everything was settled before they came back, and he made sure he performed every song of his that the crowd or the audiences that came to the show. We're expecting for him. He didn't leave any of them out. Because you bought a ticket to come for a Black Sheriff experience. And he gave it to them back to back to back. Mm -hmm. 